Thank you. Go to this Duncan's pretty much every day. If it's on the lemon. Uh, she will probably read my order to me. Morning, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a large shot? Two and two? And a bacon, egg, and cheese on an English? Yes, please. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. How you doing? Thank you. Alright, thanks. I just bring my coffee. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it this morning. I got a bunch of crap in here. I'm gonna clean this truck out. I don't know how to get to you, man. Yeah, look at that. On time, too. That's because his wife's not working this week. Otherwise, he'd be late. Morning. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you hiding? Oh, I'm hiding. Ah! I got you on video. <laughs> <laughs> and then. A mean rocky trail and that was just like keep first gear pin wide open pretty much when you're going uphill that's why i had to back off of you sometimes i was like i can't breathe i'm breathing it just well dude you couldn't go exhaust. to second gear because you had to slow down for rocks and I had to pin from first gear to keep going up the rocks i saw like the little divots like this and there was like a little stream or puddle i'd be like ah I'd pick up my feet and just bolt, bolt. Oh, you fussy i <laughs> <laughs> tried to wheel you through it and rock <laughs> a bit too under for those for these? I thought you paid a hundred. Huh. Yeah, dude, so the fucking neighbor guy yesterday, he comes over and he's like, Hey, he's like, you still work on four wheelers and shit like that and whatnot by himself? And neighbor of pets? Like, uh, yeah, 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 Andy. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I got a friend. He's like, he owns a power sports company. He needs help. I walked in there, he's got a shop like this. He's got, like, racks full of fucking snowmobiles and four wheelers. Mm -hmm. Like above his little office thing. What's wrong with the Dodge? That thing's good besides an inspection sticker, right? And a tire? Yeah, you drove F-150 for like two years like that. This one's got a 2020 sticker. I feel like that one's got a 2018. 2020 wasn't that long ago. You wanna get the compressor? Thank you. Oh, I was hoping this one had fuel. I put uh, 40. Is that it? It goes to, I think, 44 PSI. So I was thinking if you can, uh, since you got the dump truck, you can load that with all that we split the other day. Yeah. And, uh... What, just dump it on the other side, or...? We don't have room yet. We gotta move those logs. You can just get it filling for now, and whatever you can lift from the cut the other day and stack, so you can split all that. I'll be at least an hour and a half before I'm back. I gotta get fuel too, so. Bring that little uh, DeWalt compressor with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yes. And here, do you want this too? Let's we'll see, you have some pressure. Can. What? You wanna see if we got a charged battery anywhere? Wow! Alrighty then. Oh, the. Uh... Remember. Yep. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Don't forget, you got a truck just laying on the ground. I knew he was gonna just pull it in. He's gonna forget all about the truck on the ground. Pull it in, you're gonna forget all about that. We'll never see it again because it's the same color as the gravel. Oh, yeah, we took the car. No, I didn't. I'm gonna blame somebody else. Oh, a seatbelt locked me. Let's go. Place to be, people to see, things to do. Yeah, let's watch Adam. He's trying to back this truck up. He can't figure out where to put it. He's gonna run into a log. Oh, let's see. Is he gonna run into the log? Oh. He's not even close to where he wants to be. But he'll get out and figure that out soon. Oh, he's giving me the thumbs up like he thinks he's good, but he has no idea where he is. 
I'm just talking to you two about your racking up skills. Don't worry. You didn't hit anything yet. That's off camera, you do that. I'm gonna sleeve in a bed right now. Uh, got about 15 pines in the front yard along with a big 80 foot oak, probably 30 inch diameter. Uh, yeah, I gave him a price. I got a higher, bigger crane than I got just to be efficient. Uh, I priced thumb grinding a little bit high just because so I have my own grinder and I sub that out to another guy. So it's already got a price a little high if I want to make a dollar. He has no problem with me making a dollar off him. You know, he'll even, he'll even ask me what I what I charge to try and help me make a buck if he thinks it's close to what he wants for the job. I'm gonna guess 487, yeah. Which, uh, isn't the worst, I don't think. I'm always buying diesel, so I really don't know. I haven't driven this truck in a while. I gotta get an inspection sticker on it and I'll start driving it every day. Alright, we missed it, but I thought Adam had to use a ratchet strap and it looks much better, even though I told him to stop tightening because it's pulling it forward and I need to tighten the back one first. So now we're gonna loosen it and pull it backwards and then I can tell you the back one and then we can figure it out. Let's go, Angry Thursday. <laughs> Don't make it Angry Thursday. You already did. On to be happy Thursday. That's tomorrow. Let me tighten my strap. You want me to show you how it's done? <laughs> Alright, I just showed Adam, but here we go, you two. Tilted like crazy. It's still tilted, but the other way now. So you got your binder. Adam was putting it through like this, and then he tried some other shit. Don't do that. Shut the binder. Make sure your slots lined right up with you. With the binder shut. Calling this the front, the handle side. Straight through the back, and that's it. Then you can pull tight. Pull tight. It's pretty easy. Hey, but I give you an A for effort. Hey, you just learned today too. So. I, I'm learning every day. Everybody, yeah, I know. Every I gotta day teach is you learning every day. So always remember that, folks. Uh, yeah. So it's some kind of experience working with Adam. Hey, you All got right. your uh, you styrofoam want... good? Sure. You want to tighten up on that? I didn't know why you. <laughs> uh, he learned the knot I showed him last year, finally, today. So that's yeah. good. Yesterday. Well, I showed you again yesterday. I can't say you learned it. This is the first time I've seen you do it by yourself. Like there's two of them. Ah, which one looks better here? This one looks pretty decent. Definitely less dirty than that one. Alright, I think we found a winner. Right. I'm just kidding. Let go. I got it. I got it. I need a cover. A cover over here? I have no idea. What was that cover that we had inside? Hey, do you see a cover there? Oh, got letters? Alright. Easy enough. Now we might need tech screws. Alright, coming at you. Alright. Just finished our McDonald's job. I didn't get 
get the recording. There's too many people around. Orders and shit. I was going loud. You got enough fuel in there? So, yeah. We're only cutting those few pieces that came out of the trailer. Fuck that, I'm still, that'll be good. Probably just in front of the crane truck. Find a bit of gas first if something. Get that glue and shit off. Oh, that's a lot of gas. Okay. I was thinking on the front here because then it won't be too far forward and it won't be too high. I don't know. Trial and error? No, you can only stick it once, Adam. Oh shit, that's what she said. A more. A more. Right there. See that? That like, looks like you're at eye level with everything. I gotta rotate out for these outriggers. Well, I could do this if you want to. Uh, you want to start splitting. All right, rotate the crane over so we can lift up this side of the truck and level it out. The airbag squeaking. Am I yelling? It's because I got the earmuffs on. Oh, dude, turn your volume down. Huh? Exactly. Sure. When my GoPro died. Yeah, we're done for the day. We moved those couple big logs. I don't know if you guys got to see that or not. But the crane was struggling. It was about the biggest log I've ever lifted with that thing. So we lifted those few logs and I'm heading home. I gotta watch my kids. Amy's got work tonight. So I get the kiddos for the night. Traffic like crazy. But uh, yeah, I told Adam just to pack up the crane and he's gonna take out the trash. And Dump a load of firewood in the back of the dump and we can go home. It's already it's 4.23 right now, so yep, that's a, that's a good day. <laughs> 